Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. Today I want to try out something new with you and we're going to be doing an unboxing video but we're going to unbox these two new Dynamo packages. <laughs> so if you don't know what a Dynamo package is, it's basically like an app for Dynamo. So you know you have all your standard nodes but you can also make custom nodes in Dynamo. And when somebody is really nice, they put all their custom notes into a package and uh, then you can download it for free into your Dynamo and add more functionality to your Dynamo. So it's basically new notes that can do things that you couldn't do before in Dynamo. And so the first package we're going to look at today is called Space Analyzers and it was developed by Autodesk Research. And what it does is it has these cool custom nodes to create uh, view analyses of a certain um, environment and also pathfinding nodes. And then the second package is called Dynamaps. And when we open that, we get some cool custom nodes to create, to extract data directly from maps, such as Google Maps, and import it into our Dynamo. So that's also very cool. And um, this package was developed by a company called Data Shapes. And then today we're going to go through step by step on how to install the packages. We're going to look at what custom nodes are uh, come with the packages. And then we're going to make a script in which we use them so that you can create really cool urban scale um, analysis of your project or of a potential project. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Dynamo. And then I'll show you how to install the packages. So let's just create a new graph. And then here in packages, it's really easy. You go to search for a package and then you type in the name. So in our case, that would be, for example, uh, space analysis. And then here you have the package that we're looking for and you just click on install latest version. And it might ask you a bunch of questions and you just press OK. Like, um, do you, it might ask, do you uh, really want to install it? Do you, it contains Python scripts or something like that. Do you still want to install it? And you just press OK on that. And uh, if you've done that correctly, it should end up, your package should end up here. So do that for the space analysis package and the Dynamaps package. And once you have successfully installed the packages, you end up with all these new custom nodes that you can use. So for example, if we take a look at the Dynamaps um, package, we can see here that we have these nodes to bring in building footprints. And there are two options for that. So um, what you can get is either the outlines of the buildings from a region that you choose as polygons. So you get the polylines of those buildings or as surfaces. So as an actual like footprint. So um, maybe let's show, let me show you how these works. So, but first uh, you need to set your, um, here this mode here from automatic to manual, like it's easier that way. So um, let's take a look at this building footprint surface node. So the first step to using this is to put it into your graph. And what it will return you is first the surfaces of the buildings that you picked and second, the elevations of those buildings. So the, the height so that you will actually be able to get 3D objects out of it. And the way to use this node is to open up view and then you should have here this Dynamaps option. And if you open it and are connected to the internet, you can pick a location on this planet or if you have set your project coordinates in your project to your actual site coordinates, then you can also click on take me to the site coordinates. But uh, since we're not working on a real project, let me just show you my hometown of Frankfurt. So wait, oh, there it is. We actually have some really cool skyscrapers in Frankfurt. So maybe I can show you these. 
And the way this works is this little um, view that you have here, everything that is in this section will be used um, in the node. So if you zoom in rather close, then you will get only a few buildings. And if you zoom out far away, then you will get a lot of buildings. But also this means that it will work for a much longer time uh, to compute all the all these surfaces. So depending on your um, on your internet connection and on the size of the region that you pick, it can take uh, very long or go really quick. So um, to make this really quick, let's zoom in a little more and then maybe pick this region. And what you also, what I noticed, what's also very helpful is to switch the project coordinates and the project units in your project from um, millimeters to meters if you can. It still works if you can't, but it's just faster and uh, nicer. It doesn't return an error if you do that. Okay, now once you're happy with the region that you picked, click on push to Dynamo. I, I just saw that it says get that sweet data. I didn't see that before. That's really cool. Okay. Okay. Push to Dynamo. And then it starts calculating. And it will tell you uh, run completed once it's finished. So don't panic if it takes really long. If it says still running, it's just because it has to download the data and process it. So once you're finished, it will say run completed. Okay, and let's take a look at that. So these are the buildings from the region that I picked. But this is not everything besides buildings. Don't close this, we will need this later. You can also get roads off the region or what I um, find very cool topography. Also trees are very cool. And here, if you select this topo poly surface, um, and just click on push to dynamo again. It will return you the topography of the region. Here, so you can see. So it puts the building footprints on just on uh, zero, but the, my, the topography is actually elevated. So now there's another very useful node called um, project buildings on topo, which we can use. Okay, so I think by now you can close this because we don't need to import any other data. So we um, can use this to make actual 3D buildings. So it just goes like this and then it needs the poly surface. And then once you combine those, it will put the buildings on the surface. And I did not lie to you, we do have skyscrapers in Frankfurt, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, if the roof is like tilted or something, you, this, uh, you won't get this out of this node but because it just returns the height, but it does actually return different heights for the same building. So it does get close to the shape of the actual buildings. So I think that's really cool. So learn how to use those notes from the website of Data Shapes. They have actually a very good tutorial on how to use their, um, their notes. So there's more, you can not only add um, topography and buildings like we did you can also add roads and trees and all these cool kind of things so make sure to check out data shapes they actually developed this package and other cool packages so you can see here that i have this data shapes package as well that i'm using um if you go to blog then you can see here are all their different dynamo projects and you can get some cool tips that might help you do something in Dynamo. So, and then the second package that I wanted to show you is 
space analyzers. But for this, we are going to use Dynamo Sandbox, actually, because I find it more convenient than um, the Dynamo within Revit. So um, the Dynamo Maps only works on uh, Dynamo Revit. So you have to open it through um, Revit, but as I told you in my last tutorial, you can also open up Dynamo on its own, which is called Dynamo Sandbox. If you go through the um, folder where you installed Dynamo, you can find the Axie file to open it. And um, we are going to look at this graph here that is used with the Space Analysis nodes. So this whole graph you can actually download from Kin's website. If you just type in space analysis and then maybe Kin, so I have the link here already, but you can find it here as well. So don't go on this link, it's now available, but go on here because this is the tutorial for using space analysis package. <laughs> and then you have a whole um, written out tutorial on how to create a super cool view analysis and pathfinding um, visualization like this. So what this does is it takes in an SAT file of some building outlines of a certain context. So in this case, it's a university and it's the buildings that are on this campus. And it analyzes that from a certain start point, which is here called focal point, um, it calculates how far you can see uh, with those buildings being ob obstacles. But what I have been thinking is that it would be really cool to combine those two packages. Like you can get the building outlines from the Dynamaps package. So um, we have here the building print polygons and then use the nodes, the custom nodes from the space analysis package uh, to create, to customize this script for your needs. So. Let me show you how this script works though. So as I said, first we load in the building outlines. So this is the campus that I was talking about. And then we create a, a focal point and of, be smart to make it parametric, but I mean, there's no fixed way of doing this. And then create a lattice to, to have a grid to on um, for the calculation to start and i think this is already a custom node from the space analysis package and if we run it so far and um, oh yeah okay so i haven't freezed anything else so and but and from that there are two different things it does so one is the pathfinding wait maybe let me there's something on top. This we want to look at. This we don't want to look at. So, okay. And from this focal point, which is here, it, so it displays, as I said, how, how far you can, so to, to speak bluntly, how far you can look before it hits the, the corner of a building. So for example, if there's something interesting in here, like a art piece or something, then you can tell that from these windows here, you can see it, but for example, uh, from this window here, you won't be able to see it because this uh, corner is in the way. And this is what is displayed with this kind of heat map, uh, which is this part here. And so to say calculated by this view field node. And then the pink lines is the pathfinding. So from this point, what is the shortest way to end up in these 
four corners. Of course, you can also add other points. Um, it doesn't have to be the corners. In, just in this script, it returns the corners of the bounding box, I think. And then it uses those four points as the uh, end points of the root, root finding. And what's really cool about this it does, is that it can calculate routes to multiple points at a, at a time. So if you have different buildings on this campus and you want, for example, the cafeteria to be located so that everybody, <laughs> no matter where he works, can get there on in a similar time frame, then you can put all those points um, in, uh, like the entries from the other buildings. And then it will calculate each uh, way to the cafeteria simultaneously. So that's very cool. And this is just displayed here with this pink color. So if we start moving around this point, so now let's set this to automatic. If we move this point around, then it will calculate it for a different point. And you can see here it finds the, the pathways and it gives back this very cool heat map. I really like the colors of it. So yeah, this is just one way of how you can use the, the notes that you find in the space analysis package. Of course, there are other ways and other possibilities of how you want to display them. I just recommend you work through this example first to, to understand how those notes work. And then you can try and maybe, as I said, combine it with the Dynamaps uh, notes and find uh, the building outlines of a region that is interesting to you and then apply the script to it. So, oh, I've been told not to say script because in visual computing it's called a graph. So <laughs> combine your, um, your location with this graph. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick look on those two cool new packages and I hope you like it. So I hope you like this video and I hope you give either of the packages a try or maybe combine them. Maybe if I will have the time, I will make a script where I can, where I combine both of them. So you just have to enter a certain uh, location and then it does all uh, the analyzes for you. So if I have the time, maybe I'll do that and upload it to my Twitter. So make sure to follow me there. And then, um, yeah, uh, have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>